y'all. Welcome back to watching Nelly Doing Things. I'm back to talk about some new makeup you guys have seen on my channel. A few days ago, I did some swatches over this palette. So you guys already know the palette we're gonna be talking about today is the Juvia's Place, the Coffee Shop Eyeshadow Palette. So before I jump all the way into this palette, y'all, don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And as well, don't forget to leave a comment below. And on top of that, do not forget to hit that notification button while you're down there as well. So y'all, let's jump into this brewing, bronzy, neutral goodness palette. <laughs> Starting on packaging, you guys already know the deal. It does have, of course, the new being Queen's two of them duo right in the middle at the bottom there's a coffee shop and in the o in coffee and o in shop it is a coffee bean the very very cute little detail on the back it does say all the pressed powder the pigments all that but it does describe it as a richly pigmented shades and eye-catching hues perfect for day and night time fun looks all together this does have 16 beautiful shades so they do have the nubian queens once you open up the top of the palette as well and it does have the coffee shop on the side and then all the beautiful 16 shades we have mattes we have shimmers so the packaging is cute it's nice and simple and sleek I do like the coffee bean aesthetic to it. I think it's cute. I really wanted this to smell like coffee, but it did not. That would have been cute if it did, but I do like the packaging. It's just simple. It reminds me of the Vanessa palette. It reminds me of any kind of bronzy Nubian palette they've had. Simple to the point. So if you guys want to see up close and personal the eyeshadow look I came up with this palette, just stay tuned. y'all this palette beautiful 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 i do love the good neutral brown palettes i don't know what it is definitely on the show y'all i i i get how girls love the nude palettes and stuff the new shades of lip gloss and lipsticks i get it now i'm more of a nude girl now like i'm like i just love it i still love pops of color don't get me wrong mm -mm. still wear purple in this household but just different hues of browns and nice nudie browns oh, not chef's kiss. So hope you guys enjoyed the close up of the eyeshadow look I came with this palette. The eye look came out very seductive and beautiful and it was effortless, it really was. So back into the shades of this palette. They do not have names. I wish it did. That's one thing I was like, mm, Julia, but they said, girl, no, bye here. So we do have a mixture in each row for the most part. The top row, we have one shimmer and we do have two matte shimmers and then I believe a matte with a pinpoint of shimmer in there. So I forgot they had those kind of shades in here too. I said, oh, Juby's place trying to be a little color pop. Okay, cute. So the top two shades, the matte with the gold pinpoint of shimmer in there. That was definitely like a rusty terracotta with gold specks in it. Very pretty shade. It's a really good neutral blendable shade because I put that in the back of my eye to like, you know, to blend it out as a background and it came out actually very pretty. I don't see no gold sparkles in it, but the brownness in it is really what I needed. The next shade, the shimmer, darker shimmer one, I did use that on my waterline and added a beautiful glow, but also made it kind of like a rustic looking color as well. That one's pretty. It is very pigmented. Doesn't have fallout per se. The mattes kind of do though. Just to give y'all that heads up too. The next two shades, we have that nice burnt round, bronzy, reddish color. Love it. That is the color that you put on. Like you could have those two shades in a palette, just dust it right on and go out the door. It's it's that kind of shade, that kind of reddish brown, the burnt brick brown kind of color. It's amazing. Of course, in my tear duct on the top, I do have this white, I want to say um, creamer, very creamy beige color. It's a beautiful, beautiful color. Very, very matte, very pigmented. One swipe on the eye, it was enough. That's how you know it's so pigmented. Second row, we do have two shimmers and two mattes. Coppery, shimmer, coppery, red shimmer. It's that's that's about it. That one doesn't wow me, but again, is it beautiful for fall time? Beautiful for people that love copper and red and all those rustic kind of colors. You'll love it, but it's just a traditional color. The next shade, I love it. I love these shades that are like that caramel, a little bit golden brown. Uh, I'm golden brown, so that's why it works so well on me. I love that shade. It's one of my favorite shades of the palette. So that matte performs beautifully. The darker purpley kind of plum deep brown color. That matte is 
it's a little bit buildable, which I'm surprised. I thought it'd have so much fallout, but actually, it's very stays right in place. And I did mix that on the bottom waterline. The last shimmer, I did mix that with the top of that like eggshell beigey kind of matte color up there. These did pop, but the matte of the top popped more. This shimmer is a little bit more dull in my opinion. It doesn't pop as much as I need it to. And then the third row, we do have this one. I'm not gonna lie, it looked kind of like taupey brown. I was like disgusting. That shade's okay. It is pigmented, but it looks kind of taupey. Mm -hmm. I already know this channel, I'll, I'll do taupe. Coffee Espresso Brown, beautiful. I got that on the top, mix it to the bottom, right here in the outer corner, beautiful, beautiful. That one does have follow though. You would think the darker one would, but nope, the lighter brown one does, but it is very beautiful and it blended beautiful over all the other warmer red terracotta kind of browns. Pretty much to smoke out the eye, that's a beautiful color to use. And then the shimmer in this, I haven't got to put that one on my eye, but it's a beautiful, it's kind of like, a shimmer version of that matte. Those two together be beautiful. I love that shimmer when I swatched it, but on the eye, I haven't got to try it out yet. And then I did use this color right here. I thought this would be brighter on my cut crease here, and it's not, y'all. It really did just kind of just sit there, and I was like, hmm. I was a little, I thought it would be, of course, darker than the top, but it would be have like a, like, I don't know. I thought it would be like brighter, but it was not. I was like, well, Okay, I guess that's that. <laughs> but I was disappointed in this shade. And then the last row, we do have a nice goldy brown shimmer. Traditional goldy brown shimmer. Beautiful. Swatched on my arm. Pigmented as hell. Simple to the point. Next shade, I did use this one a lot. This is a darker, I want to say a good and deep milk chocolate color. Beautiful brown. Doesn't have fallout, just like the other darker brown. Don't know why, but it is that more ready milk chocolate color. And that one just a good blendable one, especially when you want it in deeper socket of the crease. It's really, really good for that. Then we do have our, it looks like a, I want to say a really deep chocolate with gold pinpoints of shimmer. So that's another matte with pinpoints of shimmer, like a cool, cool tone gold specs in there. So that is actually really cool. I did not get to use that on my eye yet, but I cannot wait. I'm definitely going to smoke out my eye with that shade alone. Then the last shade out the palette, that one I did use underneath of my waterline again, it brightened up. I used it toward the inner corner on the bottom part of my lids and it is beautiful. It's beautiful. That is a very pretty sparkling, cooler toned gold. Very, very pretty. It's a kind of like a steampunkish kind of gold. It's really nice. So y'all overall with this palette, I feel like it is a beautiful bronzy, not bronzy, but a beautiful, good coffee chocolate brown palette. I do feel like Juvi has a lot of these beautiful bronze colors, beautiful chocolatey colors, a lot, of, a lot of good matte browns in a lot of her palettes. So I just feel like this one, I mean, I like that it's bigger in more colors, yes, than some other recent palettes. But this one does remind me of the Vanessa palette in a way. It does remind me of the Nubian, the, the Warrior palettes. If you're not really a fan of bronze or brownie colors and you're like, this is enough, I've had enough, I've had, I have three of them already. This is not really a palette I would recommend to grab because it's like, well, I've already had it. And I've had a lot of those different brown shades. I have 10 million brown shades of palettes. But as a stand and an addiction that I have to Juvia's Place palettes, I would tell people to get it just because. But color story-wise, it is beautiful, especially for fall and winter. But if you already have about three of these from different brands as well, you don't need this extra brown when you don't. But it is a beautiful one if you are a collector of more bronzy, nudie shades. But then also, too, if you just like Juvia's Place like I do, dick to our palace, <laughs> I would definitely grab it. So, y'all, thank you for watching me, which is Nelly Doing Things. Don't forget to like, subscribe to my channel, which is Nelly Doing Things. And on top of that, guys, don't forget to leave a comment below. Leave a comment below which is your favorite brown, bronzy palettes from Juvia's Place. Leave it down in the comments below. And, guys, don't forget to hit that notification button before you go. And you guys already know what I'm about to say. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Bye, y'all.